There are many ways in which we can express the concentrations of solutions. And three of those ways are explored in this problem, which asks us to calculate three expressions for concentration for a particular solution of ammonia in water. This is a 20% solution of ammonia Solvent is not specifically that important, but we'll include it at 293K because that determines the density as 0.923 grams per milliliter. Now, a 20% solution means we have 20.00 grams of ammonia and 80.00 grams of water present in 100.00 grams of solution. Let's do each calculation individually. A, B, C. A. Molarity is the number of moles of solute divided by the number of liters of solution equals, well, the number of moles of solute is easy enough, 20.00 grams of ammonia divided by 17.03 grams per mole of ammonia. The number of liters of solution is a little more complex. We have 100.0 grams of solution divided by 0 0.923 grams per milliliter of solution, the density, times 1 liter divided by 10 cubed milliliters. Let's do that in two steps. We'll find it useful. 1.174 moles divided by 0 0.108 liters equals 10.8 molar. 10.8 moles per liter. A fairly concentrated solution. Not surprising, this is a quite concentrated ammonia solution. We'll see that our prior calculation can be useful in some subsequent calculations. B. Molality, little m in this case, equals moles of solute divided by kilograms of solvent. And this one is a bit easier. Equals, we've already calculated the number of moles of solute in this 100 grams of solution. 1.174 moles of ammonia. That comes from our calculation in part A. Divided by 80.00 grams of H2O times 10 cubed grams of H2O per kilogram. And if we carry through that calculation, we find that we get 14.7 moles per kilogram. Notice, in this reasonably concentrated solution, molarity and molality are quite different numbers. In very dilute solutions, they get closer and closer. But in concentrated solutions, they can be quite different. And finally, mole fraction. We already know 
that 20.00 grams of ammonia is 1.174 moles of ammonia. 80.00 grams of water divided by 18.02 grams per mole of water equals 4.440 moles. So the mole fraction of ammonia is the number of moles of ammonia divided by the total number of moles in the solution that equals 1.174 divided by 1.174 plus 4.440 and that equals 0 0.209. This is a two-component solution. So the mole fraction of water must equal 1, the total, minus 0 0.209 equals 0 each of these results is useful in a different context. Molarity is particularly useful in titrations, in calculating the concentrations of materials present in solution by using volume measurements. Molality is important when we have to vary the temperature in our measurements and mass remains constant, whereas density does not. And mole fraction is important in looking at colligative properties, freezing point, melting point, and particularly vapor pressure measurements. So each has its use, and it's important that we master each of these different ways of expressing concentration of solutions.